is is completely wrong. Go ahead, Your Honor. Uh uh. No, not yet. Hold it! Uh uh. Is that right? Is it your right? As you go from the hotel? Objection, Your Honor. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. You just said that this statue of Thinker was a cock. There's no way of knowing that just by looking. Another person in much of the same position as you recently called this clock as well. And he was found guilty of murder. Objection, Your Honor. As you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Very well. Uh -oh. What happens now is that you will answer my question. How did you know that it was a clock? There's no way you could have heard a 
Kako off the building next door. Objection! Yes, I do. Then, I would like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard. I don't think so. Sorry, Edgeworth, it's not gonna work this time. What grounds? Sure about that? No. No. Uh-uh. No, Your Honor. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question had wrong. That clock is missing its clockwork. Let's take a look right now. See anything interesting, Your Honor? <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Well, Miss May. Oh, you're not going to tisk tisk me, Edgeworth. So much. <laughs> I got you this time, Edgeworth. The evidence that uh, proves when the clockwork was removed is right here. Take that! Take a look at this. conversation shared with the victim on the day of the murder. <laughs> gotcha, Edgeworth. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it.
to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation, shall we? Gotcha, Edgeworth. to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock? something else. Before, because 
heard about it. The witness had never held a cock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a cock. April, May, you were used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew that the thinker was a cock. Am I wrong? Objection! Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem to amuse you? The defendant demands an answer right now. Answer the question. Did you tap her phone or not? <laughs> Miss May? <laughs> yes. getting me this time. The court's seen the real April May now. Now, time to deal with the final blow. One moment, everyone. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Yes, 
Yes, you do. No, it is not revolving. This may. We were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Does not condone the victim's tone of voice. He has a point. Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even if, even though you tapped her phone? Do so. That is correct. Yes, I know what it is. I know that. Get to the point. Very well, I shall. I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. No. No, no, no. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. What's your reason for that, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, I disagree. Some 
Damn it! Got you this time. Simple matrix to a twin room with a man. Correct? Then, brother of them shoppers. You didn't see that man. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person who who may have been murdered. In light of this new fact, I would hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Would you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? The man who checked in was Miss May. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet, Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man who was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. I suppose you like it to be too late. After all, it was you who in the presence of the other man from this court. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Here for jokes. I am here for truth. <laughs> Call me what you will. They will not phase me. Here we go again.
<laughs> I see something missing. Oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Isn't there a shiny painting hanging on that wall? Fisherman. Isn't it? What's it very... Photos. There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. Viewers, this, well, I better show you before I explain what it is. Infamous DL6 incident. Now, that is the most infamous case in the entire, possibly in the entire Phoenix Wright franchise. This is him, isn't it? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. <laughs> nice try, Miss Cooperative. Yeah. 
Greetings, everyone. Like forensics is taking the day off today. seconds. May has not been charged with murder.
no use playing dumb. Indeed, that's If you don't talk, I'm taking the zip up to the press. <laughs> So that one field day with his Wait. <laughs>